Bonanza, one of the most successful television shows ever and one of the longest. It ran from 1959 to 1973. 14 seasons, 431 episodes, making it the second longest running western in U.S. history right behind Gunsmoke. It also continues being very successful in syndications throughout the 70s and 80s and still today. It's one of the first television shows to have tie-in merchandise. There was a Jim Bean Whiskey Decanter, Big Little Books, a Bonanza model character set, a chain of Bonanza Ponderosa Steakhouses. There was even a Bonanza comic book series and Bonanza album. But did you know there were Bonanza action figures? In 1966, the toy company American Character released Bonanza action figures. Well, action men according to the package. This was before the term action figure was coined. The action men from Bonanza. The Cartwrights, the greatest western toys ever. Little Joe, fastest left-handed draw in the west. Ben, the toughest pioneer who ever rode the plains. And Hoss, always ready for a good fight. You can even get the outlaw, the meanest desperado you ever saw. Watch out! He's getting away! Hit him, Hoss! Pow! You got him! And you can get the trailblazing four-in-one Bonanza wagon. Each Cartwright comes complete with over a dozen accessories. Each horse has action ooze. You can buy Little Joe's Pinto, Hoss's Stallion, and Ben's big buckskin. The action men from Bonanza will put you right in the Wild West. By American character, the hottest brand around. And for a figure released in 1966, the likeness of the characters from the TV show is pretty spot on. The figures were released in three different ways. You could get the character alone or buy him with a horse or just buy the horse alone. The characters from the Cartwright family was Ben, Hoss, and Little Joe. There were also some different horses, such as Little John has a black and white horse or an all brown horse. Now to give the Cartwright family someone to fight, there was the outlaw, who wasn't based on any real character from the series, just a generic bad guy dressed in all black. He also came with two different horses, one all black and one gray. But probably the standout from this line is the 4-in-1 wagon. This 25-inch long wagon could be converted into a chuck wagon, an ore wagon, a cover wagon, or a ranch wagon. And it included two horses. If you're a fan of Bonanza, action figures, or maybe both, I think you'll really enjoy this line. And it seems to be almost forgotten in the action figure community. But for an action figure line released in 1966, the look of these figures are amazing. Now today you can find the figures on secondhand markets like eBay for under $100. But to find them still in the box will run you between two to three hundred. And it's very rare to find one of the Cartwright family members or the outlaw in the box. On this show, I usually focus on action figures from the 70s and 80s. And it's good to go back to look at some of these action figures before my time. And see some of the very beginnings of action figures tied into merchandising along with television shows and movies. Bonanza was the first television series to have an action figure line based on it. And that can't be forgotten when you talk the history of action figures. I want to thank you for watching. As always, please slum up so I know you like my content. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk again soon. Junk Man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.